it's another day. How's your day going? Um, I'm making, I'm going to, I have some curled up birch bark. I'll show it to you. Let me turn on some lights here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have these pieces of birch bark and you see how they're all curled up Let's see and they're almost impossible to open well you do not soak birch bark in water because birch bark is um, waterproof so if you want to open it you heat it so we'll stick it in the oven I've had in the oven. See now, this will move very easily. Okay, what we need to do is put something on it to hold it in place. I like to use a big tile because it's also heavy. So let's go. Let's. I guess I should have gotten the tile first. I'll go in the in the sunroom and get a piece of tile where I put my soaps on. Don't worry, I'm still here. I didn't go far. Okay, here we go. So this is what I mean. I have a big piece of tile. And it's got some weight to it. And it's also... Let me see what I'm showing you here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll stick this into it. Now this is pretty warm. Hot would be a good word. Nice and hot. I gotta get some gloves on. Okay, so let's take this our mittens on this time. And we'll stick this into the center. All the curled up. And then we'll one side and I'll push it until we get to the edge. Okay. Okay, and then the other end we're gonna unroll underneath it. And I'll lay it down. Okay. Let's see how nice that is. Okay, I need a little bit more, something a little bit more to flatten that down. Let's see, what should we use? Let's see, if I had a piece of board that was about that wide, that would work. Hmm, what could I use? How about... Hmm, I these little cooking containers. Are they big enough? Are they too small? Big? And they're not going to stay put. Okay, let's get another piece of tile, okay? I'll just go get it. I was coming back. You knew that. Okay, so take the second piece of tile and push against it to open up all those little edges. Okay. So those are open nicely. And then this one, this could be opened a little more as well. Let's see if we can push our tile into that as well. Okay, now you're going to 
need some weight on here. To keep them from... Well, I'm doing what you just did. Okay, so what have you got that's weight? Um, how about a big, I know, a big bag of rice. That'll do it perfectly. Mm. You know what? You could have just used this big bag of rice. Flatten the birch bark. Okay, so we'll sit it there and leave it there for a while. And then as the birch bark cools, it'll, it'll be this new flatness okay so let me see if how long like I have these in the oven at 350 and that's probably way too hot but they don't need to be in there very long see this one let me just see about this I'll put these other ones in here first Okay, so the oven has got more in there. Okay, so let's see about this one. Yeah, this is going to open up nicely also. Let's move our bag of rice. So we could do the same thing with this one that we did with the last one. So I'll go get another. See how it doesn't really want to curl up as tightly now. You can't see it, can you? Okay, I'll leave this here on it. I'll get another tile. two tiles while I was at it. Okay, so... So those will flatten down. I don't know if you got a good look at all that because you're pretty close to it, but so now you see I've got birch bark under there and birch bark under here and another birch bark in between there. And so these are flattening them down. Now outside, let me show you what I've done outside. I hope you've got enough battery to come with me. I just had to unplug you. Okay, so outside I've already heated and flattened or just had new bark and just laid it flatten it I have it in this you might wonder at my huge mess but there is a little bit of method in my incredible madness okay so under here we have one piece and under here we have a piece of glass with lots of pieces So, and then in this basket I have a lot of pieces. 
Let's see what we can 